I'm Kath McGaw and today I get to talk to you about one of my favorite topics when it comes to picky eating and that's nutritional rehab and a feed-in holiday. So let's just recap what is picky eating. So picky eating is when your child is cutting out at least one of the food groups or just very particular about certain foods in different food groups. So often the most common ones that children cut out is fruits and veggies and protein foods because chickens and meat and foods like that are quite a lot of work to chew and so if they're lazy and they struggle with that they might cut out that whole group. So what do we do to get our child from a fussy eater to a foodie who enjoys food? Well one of the things in our toolbox is nutritional rehab and so what this really entails is taking the children through a process of giving them all the good nutrition that they need in order for them to get used to getting all the nutrients again that they aren't eating from food. Because it becomes a vicious cycle, the less a child eats, the less that the body actually wants and the less the body seeks after. So what we need to do is we need to actually replenish the body before the child will start to eat. And so moms often at this point go, well, how do I do this? What is the easiest way to do this? And often it's by giving a nutritional supplement because a picky eater as the name donates is picky. So they're not going to go and choose all the healthy foods that their body needs or is lacking. So the nutritional supplement would give everything that the body needs, including proteins, fats, and your carbohydrates, as well as your micronutrients like vitamins and minerals. And so this in the beginning might mean maybe 80% of your child's intake. So you would really see if your child is really missing most of the meals or hardly eating at any meal, they're going to need a fair amount of the nutritional supplements. And that's really important in the beginning because you want to restore all the nutrition back to the body. And often in this phase, the child's body actually starts looking for food. On the contrary, parents often think that if they give it through a nutritional supplement, the child's not going to want to eat. But it actually it turns out that a child's body that is well nourished actually looks and seeks out food. The analogy I like to use is if you break your leg, for example, in the beginning, you can't put any pressure on that leg while it's healing. So you are given crutches and the crutches are used while the leg is busy being restored and becoming strong. As your leg becomes strong and is better, you can then slowly get rid maybe of one crutch and then maybe you'll get rid of a second crutch and then start walking a little bit and putting pressure on the leg. And the nutritional supplement is like a crutch for the health of your child. So in the beginning, they need it because they are needing to be restored and rehabilitated. And then as that is happening, you are able to slowly pull back on the nutritional supplement. And that is a very important phase in nutritional rehabilitation. So you need to introduce the supplements in, and then you slowly need to wean your child off the supplement. But definitely for a good three months, the child generally needs to be on the full volume of nutritional supplementation. So then we come to the phase, the feed-in holiday. What exactly is this? Now, because it's so much stress around picky eating in a home, it's in, often in homes, it's like a time bomb just waiting to explode. It's really important that this next step is taken seriously. So what is a feed-in holiday? It really means that you can step back worrying as a parent because now the child has the nutritional supplements on board and your job is still to provide three meals a day still to provide those snacks in between and healthy food. And I generally say, set your child up to win. So remember, this is not the time during a feed-in holiday to try and introduce a whole lot of new tastes and different flavors and all the foods that you think your child should be eating. Now's the time to actually step back. So you're going to every morning, every lunchtime, every supper time, present your child with the healthiest foods, what they eat, even if it's the same foods day in and day out, no stress, no fuss, whether they eat it or they don't eat it, it doesn't really matter. Because remember, we have our nutritional supplements on board. Because your job during this feeding holiday is to have fun with your child, 
is to play and do all the things outside of feeding because often with picky eating it becomes all about the food for you and your child and you almost forget that you need to have a relationship outside of feeding and this is what the feeding holiday presents you with is an opportunity to play and engage with your child during this time and this means taking the stress off backing off and not constantly offering food throughout the day. That is really, really important. And during this feed-in holiday, I often encourage you to go off social media, especially your social media groups related to feeding, and to quiet those voices out there that are telling you your child's not eating enough, your child's too skinny, or your child's not looking healthy, or what are you feeding, or they must sit down, or and all these different rules that have been thrown at you. You need to quieten those voices during this feed-in holiday time. And the other thing you need to do is just assess your expectations. What exactly are you expecting your child to eat at each mealtime? Maybe it's unrealistic. And so you need to reset your expectations, remembering that when they are younger, their tummies are not as big as when they're older. They are going to seemingly eat less than maybe even what they did as a baby. And that's actually a very normal phase. So you need to just get a bit clued up on what amount of food would be appropriate for your child at the different age group that your child is at. And once you've got that, and once you've offered that, the responsibility then is up to them as to how much they're going to eat. So your responsibility is to set up a feed-in time that's appropriate for breakfast, lunch, supper, set up a feed-in environment that's pleasant and enjoyable, and then basically present the foods like I say set your child up to win with the foods that they enjoy and then their responsibility is how much they're going to eat of that food and then spend time with them outside of feeding that is so important just get to know them who is your child outside of trying to feed them go and do fun things that are not food related and then just enjoy that season of just stepping back knowing that you've got the nutritional rehab process on board and going and you will find that during this time both of you will take a totally different perspective and look at food and start to hopefully enjoy the food journey